Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and if you are Muslims, please join us and correct us if we are wrong. And as you know, always we are wrong. I mean, I have to be always wrong. I mean, have you ever heard of someone who is a Christian, he is telling the truth? I mean, come on. Here we have a Muslim, his name is Hans. I don't know why Hans, his name is Hans. He's a Muslim. He said to me, believe me, doesn't CP does not know anything about Allah. You see, my challenge is, I am the one is asking, if you Muslim knows anything about Allah, and you are saying to me, CP doesn't know anything about Allah. I mean, why is I supposed even to know anything about Allah? I am not a Muslim, my friend. It's you who should know who is Allah. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> and look, just to show you that the second you became a Muslim, your brain fuse is broken, it's burned. Look what this guy is saying to me. I, okay, listen. Huh? Listen, brother. What he explained, only the name of Allah, you idiot. I'm talking about Allah have hands. This is the name of Allah. So when I say Allah have hands, Allah have a foot, this is the name of Allah. Allah, uh, Allah his name is Mr. Hand. Allah, his name is Mr. Foot. I mean, all our video, the previous video we did yesterday, which is your quote commenting about, we are talking about the hand of Allah, the foot of Allah, the five fingers of Allah, may Allah finger you. And you are saying, I'm talking about the name of Allah. Obviously, you are so confused about the limp and the pimp. I mean, can you find me one, one, just one? He knew what he's talking about. What's wrong with those people? And look what he says. Uh, he doesn't know who is the owner of the name for me. CB is nothing. If he has knowledge, I challenge him to tell us this. Uh, the quiz of death. Who is the first time mentioned the name of Allah? <laughs> According to who? According to your prophet, the first one he mentioned the name of Allah is Allah, you idiot. And then the second one is Adam, you idiot, between the human. Well, what's wrong with those people? The question is, my friend, uh, I don't care what you call your God name. And by the way, Allah is not a name, you idiot. Allah. Al is a word meaning God. La is the name of your God. And this is the moon God. And have nothing to do with the Arab. This is a very old God, ancient God, exists long before Muhammad was born. But look what he said to me. Uh, who is the first time who mentioned the name Allah? Where he, she mentioning? You know, you remind me of the hadith. There's a hadith about a, a Jewish guy, supposedly he came to the Prophet of Allah. And he said to him, Prophet, there's a three questions nobody know the answer for them, save a Prophet of Allah. Hmm. Nobody knows them, save a prophet of Allah, but the guy, he know the answer, so you know, he must be a prophet too. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. When the news arrived, the arrival of Prophet Muhammad to Medina, etc., Abdullah ibn Salam, Salam he, want, he went to him and he asked him about certain things, and he said to him, I'm going to ask you about three things, which only a prophet can answer it, and you are doing the same. This is the same you are doing now to me. Christian Prince, I will ask you three questions. Only Prophet can answer them. If you can answer them, then I will talk to you. Read, read, read is a challenge, read. It looked like he's copying the Hadith, man. Oh, here they have four things. In the Hadith, he have three things. So in the Hadith, here it says, the, the guy, he asked him, uh, the first question, look how important the question. What is the first sign of the hour? What is the first food which people of, of paradise will eat? And what does, oh, and what does a child uh, attract the similarity of his father or his mother? And supposedly nobody will know the answer except a prophet. But the guy who is asking the question, he knew the answer. Have you, have you ever heard of a stupid story? So if the guy, he knew the answer, that's mean all the Jews didn't knew this answer. That's mean all of them, they are prophet too. And then Muhammad, he replied, Jibreel, just inform me. Who? Jibreel. Jibreel. Just now, Jibreel. So this is not Muhammad talking, this is Jibreel, coming from Allah. Remember, Jibreel is the fax machine. So Jibreel has now informed me of that. Ibn Salam said, 
He are Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews since when? <laughs> the prophet said, as for the sign of the hour, it will be a fire that will collect the people from the east and the west. As for the first meal is going to be in the paradise, the people will eat, will be the, uh, the liver of the, uh, of the uh, wheel. The reason Muhammad, he mentioned the liver of the whale, because supposedly the Arab belief, if you eat the liver of the whale, that will make you sexually very active. You know what I'm talking about. As for a child, if a man discharged proceed the women, discharge the child attract the severity of the man. <laughs> Pure science. So my friend, if you are a person who claims to have knowledge of Islam, just give me a call and let us see how good you are. Either people will laugh at you or people will laugh at me. What are you worried about? As long as you have knowledge, you will win. As long as Allah, the Shin God, you know, you Muslim, you should not say, you know, like we Christian, we say hallelujah. So shouldn't you Muslim say shinnuyah? I mean, your God is a Shin. You reject our God for he is coming to us as a man. You accept that God, he's a Shin. Ah, I'm going to make a website it's called shin.com. All right, now we go to our topic. This guy is silly, he's not worth really to talk about him. If you have a courage, call me and let us see how good you are. It will be recorded, everybody will, will listen to you. Here we have a, a, a sheikh, big sheikh, he's a very big sheikh, very big sheikh. Uh, he's very big, you know. So he's describing paradise, let us see what paradise in Islam is. If you ask about its ceiling, it is the throne of the beneficent. If you were to ask about its cement, it is purified misk. If you were to ask of its stones and pebbles, it is jewels, emeralds and rubies. Can you imagine? You go to a jewelry shop, you look at a ring and it says $10,000. It's just a little stone and Jannah is filled with it. Oof, 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 oof. I'm so upset now. In the Jannah is going to be filled of rubies and uh, diamond? I mean, here you see how Islam is speaking to your lust, worshipping gold and silver and diamonds. Who care for diamond in heaven, you idiot? Why diamond and gold and silver is attached to the word heaven in Islam? Because those are, you know, money and sex worshippers. Now we're describing the house, the floor, the street. The street is, the cement is misk. The dust is zafaran. The house, one brick of gold, one brick of silver. The stones are diamond. What we will do with those things? If we are in heaven, you idiot. What is the value of diamond in heaven? And why we have diamond anyway? What does that mean? And why my house is made from gold? How disgusting. Imagine all your walls are yellow gold. You live inside the tank for eternity. And as long as everybody have gold, this is the gold lost. This, the, the value, you see the value of any material, it's about how, it, how much it exists. If the earth is full of gold, then the gold will be in the price of dust. So what is the price of gold and what we would do with the gold in heaven? They try always to seduce you. This is the devil. He tempts you by money and valuable money. Gold is money. Otherwise, we cannot eat gold. My blood is not gold. We are a flesh. We are a human. We do not need really gold. So why you are promising me gold to tempt me? And... If you were to ask of its buildings, and if you were to ask of its buildings, a brick of silver and a brick of gold, not wood and clay, and if you were to ask of its trees, there's not a tree in Jannah except that its trunk is pure gold. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Gold again. Your house is made from gold. Your zucchini made from gold. The trunk of the tree is made from gold. The birds are made from gold. I mean, what's wrong with this religion? I tell you. They are gold worshippers. Gold diggers. 
they seek power in order to get gold and soon we'll see what more it's not going to stop here is it no way you enjoy the whole of Jannah. Imagine you will sit on necks of birds and point to that place and that bird will fly like in Harry Potter's movie. It will go straight there to that side. Did he mention Harry Potter movie? And the Muslim, they get offended when I say Islam is like Harry Potter movie. Did, is it me who said Harry Potter or him? I mean, even the guy, he just admitted that this is like Harry Potter movie. Did I hear correctly, or this is, he is copying Christian Prince? So much, so much to talk about, but I, uh, my time is excessively limited. So, you enjoy the whole of Jannah. Imagine you will sit on necks of birds and point to that place, and that bird will fly like in Harry Potter's movie. It will go straight there to that side, and then you'll go maybe, no, that side, it will fly to that side. This is, can you imagine the joy in Jannah? No, we cannot, Harry Potter. All of that is one thing and then an amazing day comes oh boy uh oh what he's going to talk about i'm afraid now oh uh, what there's more so there's more than golden tree golden trunk golden zucchini golden dust golden stone golden house golden brick silver gold what there's more tell us you're in jannah uh-huh enjoying the you know the beauty of jannah and jannah is beautiful subhanallah everything in jannah is beautiful you know some of you um, uh, will look at at your life partners and think you know this is a bit ordinary you know oh boy here we go <clears throat> if you are under the age of six years old please leave the chat because in islam six years old and older they are mature as aisha she was uh, in Jannah, in Jannah, Subhan al Khaliq, that ordinary person, that man that you're sitting next, you know, who you're with, inshallah ta'ala, may Allah bless one and all. Um, in Jannah, Allah Rabbul Izza will give him the perfect age, 33 years young. Oh boy, Allah will make me older? I'm 17. That's not fair. All of us, we will be in the age of Jesus, 33 years old, all of us. You go to the profile of a Muslim in Jannah, he have the same picture, the image of Joseph. According to Islam, Joseph is very, Yusuf, you know, very, very, very handsome. All of us will look like Joseph. All of us will have the age of Jesus. And all of us, we will have the voice of David. And all of us, we will sing that like, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy blue, oh, mommy blue, oh, mommy, oh, mommy, oh, mommy. All of us look the same. I mean, what, what a boring heaven. How we would know each other? All of us are the same height, the same age, the same clothes, the same uniform. All of us were wearing green, by the way, like in the surgery room. What those people are talking about? You know where he's got the strength of manhood and at the same time the wisdom of adulthood, 33 years. The strength. Focus and the strength. Size like our father Adam alayhi salam. Beauty competing with the beauty of Yusuf. You know Yusuf alayhi salam, beauty so dazzling. Once he entered the room, women were sitting, they were cutting fruits. So they summoned him like enter into. So when he entered, you know, the door opens, Yusuf enters. The whole room turns to him like that you know and they're hypnotized mesmerized be glued to him you know so the quran says the women when they saw yusuf they got so horny they were doing zucchini. And the second they saw Yusuf, their eyes is eating Yusuf. And they say there's no way that Yusuf is a human. Oh boy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. 
This is in the Quran, by the way. Oh, mommy. Continue, please. Tell us what happened. When they see him mesmerized by his beauty, they cut the, you know, the apple finishes. They're cutting their hand, but they can't feel it because, oh, this is not a human being. They are cutting their hands, brother. They are cutting their hands and they cannot feel it, brother. I mean, do you know what is the story of Hornea? They are suffering from those women when they see him. You will be like Joseph now. Women, they see you, they start cutting their hands, like, what the heck is that? This is so sexy. <laughs> this is why those Mujahideen, they want to die. Drugs, hashish. This is what Muhammad promised them. Do you understand now why there is somebody who wants suicide? He is upset from his life. His life is useless. He cannot find a wife. He cannot have anything. You will not find one Muslim who is rich is committing suicide. Even Osama bin Laden, who is very rich, he was hiding in the cave. He sent men to die. Only poor, hopeless. They seek refuge into the dreams of the sexual dreams, the gold dreams. Women fighting over you. You are the man. But I think I skipped something important here. Uh, your wife, your wife in heaven, I think I skipped something. Hold on. He described the wife in the heaven, how she will be. I don't know how I skip it. Hold on. In front of me came a palace of pure gold. Can you imagine? Dazzling gold, walls of gold, pillars of gold, uh, paving gold, bedding, gold, you know. Gold. Gold, gold, gold everywhere, gold, gold. Can you imagine, brother? Everything is gold. What a freaky life. What a disgust. Imagine your tree is gold. I mean, we enjoy the green color. We don't enjoy reading. The gold is disgusting. The color of the gold is disgusting, literally. Imagine you have, you can go right now. You do not need to be rich, by the way, to have a golden house. You can paint your house, all of it, with a gold color. You can buy the paint. And imagine how disgusting your house will look like. But I want to see what he talked about the women. Where is the women's story? Hold on. I think maybe here. Ordered for you that I would not open this gate to... Oh, hold on. I need... I, I don't know, I, I missed uh, the, the point. In front of me came a palace of pure gold. Can you imagine? Dazzling gold, walls of gold, pillars of gold, uh, paving gold, bedding, gold, you know. So the Prophet is dazzled by it. So he goes, uh, Whose palace is this? So in one of the ahadith, they say, Surprise, it's for you. <laughs> but I'm going to show you where they speak about changing the color and the size of your wife. I mean, I don't know, I miss it. Where, where he talk about that in this video? This is the palace of Omar. In another hadith, it says, Liman what regards to my women when it's concerning you. Our mother, Khadija Kubra, oh, you know, Ya Muhammad, salam. Can you imagine, like a little pearl is a, a lot of money. It's a, a palace is made of pearl. So this is the abodes of Jannah. And, you know, there's so much, so much to talk about, but I, uh, my time is excessively limited. So you enjoy the whole of Jannah. Imagine you will sit on necks of birds and point to that place and that bird will fly like in Harry Potter's movie. It will go straight there to that side and then you'll go maybe, no, that side, it will fly to that side. This is, can you imagine the joy? In I cannot imagine, my friend. I saw Harry Potter, but I cannot imagine it again. Tell us about the women. And Allah, everything in Jannah is beautiful. You know, some of you... Uh, will look at, at your life partners and think, you know, this is a bit ordinary, you know. Uh, Let us see, when you talk about the women, hold on, I'm trying to find where he described the women. Our father Adam, alayhi salam, beautiful.
قطعنا ايديهن وقلنا okay, okay. and you again with the beauty befitting the beauty of jannah فجعلناهن ابكارا we will make them untouched عربا اترابا linguistically sweet and elegant you know right now you're hoping for a sweet word from one another like khalas say one nice thing you know and it's not have there they will become masters of language you're a whole virgin she will be virgin and she will say to you honey you're so so sexy you say to her really say yeah so sexy you're so sexy she never stops saying that to you until you go crazy and you believe it and all of us, we look the same, remember? I mean, how, we, how you are so sexy if all of them look the same? All the women look the same, all those versions. All the men, they look the same. So what do you mean you are so handsome? Compared to who? But uh, I, I, I'm trying to find in the video where he speak about changing the size and the color of the wife. Uh, guys, somebody can watch the video and tell me which, which moment. Uh, uh, hold on. If somebody can tell me, I will post the link for it. Somebody can help me. Because he speak about changing the size and the color of the wife. Because I, I want to do that, you know? I mean, I cannot really wait uh, for <clears throat> having a wife. I can change her size and her color. I mean, that's amazing. I'm just trying to find where. Hold on, give me a second. I'm really good. If you pause the link, maybe one of you can help me. Tell, tell me which, which moment. Tell me which uh, which moment in the video you speak about that. Hold on. Oh boy. The video is loading. Internet is horrible. Symptoms of the glad tidings of the good. When the day comes and my Allah make me and you and okay go go where's where is the women topic come on who lived aware of okay okay what is the women topic sorry guys i'm just trying to find out where he speak about changing the size of the women alhamdulillah <sighs> hmm. where we can find that how many of you men be honest you like to change the size of your woman any size and the women you know you can imagine you can, you know what I'm talking about <laughs> where is that so uh, changing the women look man what happened uh, you know what maybe in the other video hold on maybe I'm mistaken uh, maybe in Mufti Monk hold on maybe Mufti Monk guys just don't don't uh, watch that video let us see this one Maybe Mufti Monk can speak about it. Spouse, for example, will be changing as per the sweetness of your eye and its liking. So Here we go. This is this is the video. I, I was mistaken. Yeah, this is not, not 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 the other video, guys. In the heaven of Allah, you have an app like app in the phone, you know, so you can change the look of your wife. You can change her size and her color, brother. You don't believe me? Listen will be changing as per the sweetness of your eye and its liking. Your own spouse, for example, will be changing as per the sweetness of your eye and its liking. Subhanallah. So you want tall, it suddenly becomes tall short, it suddenly goes short. Allahu Akbar. You know why? This way, that way, this color, that color. It's like, you know, changing with the, a flick, not even a flick. Sometimes you have uh, these apps that you get on your computers where you want to change something and you try 10 different, you know, uh, say for example, I'm just going to throw an example. A motor Please throw an example. Please. I'm so desperate for the example. I can't wait for the example. Like what example? Give us, give us. Come on, brother. I cannot wait. We will change the size of our wife in heaven as we wish. Can I size the size of my mother-in-law? True. <laughs> this is religion this is this is religion I mean what's wrong with the human being nobody sitting there saying this is garbage man what are you talking about all those people who speak English and they have computer and they are in the year 2020 we are believing such an idiot saying to us that Muhammad says so that your wife in heaven she will change her size and her color as you wish 
Say you want to change something and you try 10 different, you know, uh, say for example, I'm just going to throw an example, a motor vehicle you want to purchase and they tell you what color would you like and they show you 10 different colors and you're clicking to see what it looks like. Click another color, click a third color, think. that click may happen such that your eye automatically chooses the color of the spouse, how it is. Unbelievable. Let me click, let me click, let me click. The click, profit, click, religion, click, 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 click. Uh, 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 hey, women, stand there, okay. Uh, st no, stand in the top of that, uh, yeah, th there, okay. And then, uh, okay, I will change your color and your size, okay, don't move. Okay, no, I don't like this one. I know, no, that's one too. No, no, no. Oh boy, no. Not the blue, come on. Uh, what is that, pink? Oh boy. Uh, we changed the color of the women? We are changing the color of the women in heaven by one click. May Allah click you. I mean, this is the click brain religion. The brain is dead. It's not a clicking. This is God. This is the prophet you want me to believe in. We change the color of the wife. And they tell you what color would you like, and they show you 10 different colors, and you're clicking to see what it looks like. Click another color, click a third color. Click. That click may happen such that your eye automatically chooses the color of the spouse, how it is liking it. And at the same time, as a moment progresses and the eye finds it sweeter to have a different color, it happens that way. <laughs> I was worried about the color issue. You know what? I'm thinking to have one is yellow, one is red, one is blue, one is black, one is see-through, one is... Oh, hold on, but isn't it your prophet? He says they are see-through, we will sue through the mother of the bones. So what color are you are talking about? And please, guys, show respect. This is Allah uh, teaching. I mean, come on. We have to accept this is truth. This is truth. This is this is truth. Hari Butar. We change the color of the women. Okay. Anything else we change beside the color, Mr. Mufti? And something described that is even better and more mind-boggling to show you that it cannot have crossed your head in the proper sense. All this we are saying. Bearing in mind that in reality what we are going to have is far better than whatever we are describing here. Oh boy, this is nothing, this is description only. Just wait until you see the real thing, brother. <laughs> this is just description. Hello? What is going to happen later is way bigger, brother. Imagine, so what we are saying, mashallah, it's something. Remember, we've heard of how, to, how important it is to work towards this. Because what's the point of talking about this? when we are distant from it, you know? Yeah, what the point, brother, what the point? It's just to fool those people so they will die for it. This is the point. This is exactly what the point. So those people will do jihad. They die as a fool. Dreaming about something will never happen. How silly human being to believe in such a garbage that there is a... Well, you go to heaven and then you change the color of your wives. Sometimes by click, sometimes by wishing, just like, oh no, this is not. Before you wish it, it happened. One narration says, whoever has drunk the wines of this world, you know, the alcoholics, the khumur that you have, will not be drinking that in the akhirah, which is prepared. Okay, hold on. Here another stupid thing is now. So Allah is against alcohol in earth, but he is going to make you drink alcohol like crazy in heaven either alcohol is good or bad how it can be good in heaven but it is bad in earth and in heaven you see that allah is obsessed with alcohol to the point he will give you a river of it and by the way the quran says that making you drunk is a sign from allah it's a miracle one verse muhammad is praising Alcohol saying Sakaran wa rizqan, rizqan hasana. This is a great alcohol to be drunk with it and to make good money from it. And here you see the Muslim they try 
to lie to you, they say, and from the fruit and dried, the date palms and grape means you 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 drive sugar and all sugar. The 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 Quran says sugar. The Quran says wholesome food. You see how they try to lie here. This is alcohol. Change the translator. You go to the front translator. You will see the whole story disappear. There's no sugar, there's no food, there's... What happened? Liars. Liars, liars will end in fire. You cannot find a Muslim, he give you a translation, decent translation for, for the cult of Islam. Here we go. And from the fruits of the dark palms and grapes, you uh, 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 derive strong drink. Brother, between two brackets, this is before the order of formation of alcohol drink. So, in one point of time, Allah is praising beer and whiskey. And later he changed his mind and he forbid it. So at this point, brother, Allah is praising it. And he says it's a godly provision. And indeed, it's a sign for the people from Allah. So when you get a drunk, Allah is making a miracle. How he make a drunk? Explain to me. Here you see the stupidity of this cult. When Muhammad, he could not drink no more because he was sick, dying, he forbid them from drinking. But when he was drinking 24 hours a day, to the point even the Muslims, they used to pray and they are drunk, and the Arab, they start making fun of Muhammad and his followers. What kind of religion is religion? They pray and they are totally drunk. And they fell apart when they are drinking. So Muhammad then, he come with the idea, okay, you know what people, we became the joke of the town. So he said to them, uh, please, brothers and sisters, uh, oh, you believe, don't approach a prayer when you are drunk. <laughs> so how wine is from the devil, yet we find it in heaven. How wine is from the devil, but Allah says it's a good provision. And it's a sign from Allah. In this verse, Allah, he prays wine and he prays alcohol. Why he prays it there? Any Muslim to answer? Either it's good or it's bad. It can't be bad now and good two days ago. Something happened. So as you see, and by the way, we need to give a like because the Muslims are unhappy with our video. And don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish because you know them, they are unhappy people. Those videos are exposing Islam badly, changing the color of your wife. I see only 607 like, but we have 1,400 for 460 watching. Where is your like? Hey, Muslim, did make uh, make you upset, brother, for saying the truth? I did nothing. I'm just showing you what your Muslim says. But you get upset because it's embarrassing. As simple as that. Changing the color of the wife. We feel shy sometimes to say, you know, the entire detail because brothers might say, you know, tonight I won't sleep, brother. <laughs> He's describing it. You know, Allah says, Ruban atraban. Allah says, Kawaiba atraban. These words have deep meaning. Sometimes, if you were to read the Arabic language in depth, you would actually blush while reading the meanings. You know, subhanallah. Describing the movement during a sexual act. Dis uh oh. What? But what? Describing the movement during sexual act. Did you hear it? Now we understand why the Muslims are upset for us playing those things. Those are not meant to play for us. Those are Muslim meeting, meeting Muslim talking to Muslims. Allah describing the movement during sexual act. Tell us more, brother.
Describing the movement, Quran, there is a word, subhanAllah. Describing the perfect shape, subhanAllah. Uh, <clears throat> shape of what exactly? Uh, subhanAllah. Uh, uh, what? Describing the what? The what? Describing elasticity. This is something very, very deep. Very deep. I mean, come on, it cannot be deeper than that. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You and I know that the virginity of a woman is connected to a hymen here, here, physically. Where, where, where? Here, here, here. He's pointing down. Here, here, here. Where? So to speak. Whereas it would be such that Allahu Akbar, I hope everyone here is married, Ya Mashaikh. Allahu Akbar. Okay, we are going to speak dirty, this is what he is saying. Okay, we are going to get more dirty now. It would be such that every single time a person would be in that pure act. You know, it is not an impure act. It's not an impure. Like, come on, it's a pure act. This is boom, boom. This is a pure, pure boom, boom. Mm -hmm. In perfect shape. Act as is considered here in the dunya where you need a bath thereafter. There, subhanallah, it is described as so fulfilling. Let's stop there, inshallah. So fulfilling. You know, you might be looking at me and saying, well, why is it not fulfilling here? Subhanallah. Okay, okay, listen. Uh, the video is getting longer, you know, and I want you to be able to download it. So we are going to stop here. And those who make the videos later, you can cut my videos, uh, I mean, to shorten it and play those part of the videos. I'm going to give you actually the video uh, which I'm playing right now. Actually, I have it in the credit line. You can check in the, in the video that I create. Uh, so you can download it and you can show it to people. Those are not meant to, for us to watch. Those are for education for Muslims. They will not share them with you. Those are not because those videos are very, very disturbing, exposing the cult of Islam. I have tons of them. Download them because those videos will not stay for long on, online. When I made my book, Sex and Allah, people, they said to me, this is too much to believe it's true. With my friend, I speak nothing there yet. I just mentioned what is important. This is religion of sex. There's nothing there but sex. It's just about sex and sex only. And for sure, speak about your belly, your stomach, because sex needs food and gold. So all those are requirement. Allah, the reality is so fulfilling that it is mind-boggling beyond your imagination. In the dunya, you won't get absolutely what you like, how you like, and so on. No, you may have the most beautiful, you know, uh, wife, alhamdulillah. If she has worked together with you to earn paradise by the will of Allah, if you are together, Allah knows. But mostly she will go to paradise. But Allah will give us better women than the women we are our wife. Okay, we are it. Okay. I mean, how in the world anyone can believe in such a garbage? How we can believe in this? Or a shape or a size that you would like to see. Or a shape or absolutely perfect. And say, for example, if there is a color or a shape or a size that you would like to see your spouse in, you will suddenly find your spouse with exactly your spec. If, 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 brother, the shape and the likeness of your wife will change as you wish. How many of you, let us be honest, you don't like the shape and the look of your wife and you wish to change it? <laughs> this is religion. This is what they want you to convert to. You have to be a certified donkey to believe in such a donkey teaching. Even donkeys will not be convinced. We will change the shape of the women and the color of the women. I mean, come on, we have to face it. 
We need to do that. Oh boy. Changing what exactly? Or a shape or a size that you would like to see your spouse in, you will suddenly find your spouse with exactly your speck in your mind. Look like an elephant, maybe. What, what do you mean, expect my mind? What, what if, okay, I saw it. So, if you like her big, she will be big. If you like her small, she will be small. If you like her skinny, she will be skinny. I mean, do it, whatever size, brother. Whatever size. What is your, what is your temptation? What is your temptation? Tell me. Just whatever size, you know, it's a it click, you know, she seems like she's like a balloon. I feel sorry for women, man. They must be made from rubber there. And she woke up in the morning in a size, and afternoon she's different size. And the women, she don't recognize herself. She is just a toy, sex toy. This is an insult for women. This is an insult to your mother, your sister. This is an insult to your daughter. Women are not sex toys. They are, they have a feeling, they have a life. Why you wanna change their look? Why you are making fun of them? Why you are abusing them? Do you think she is a piece of a plastic? What kind of a promise this promise is? You are sick. You are disgusting. A man, he love a woman, he don't care how she look. This is why even they say, for us as a human, they say love is blind. You don't love those women, just to even have sex with them. They are sex toys. This is devilish heaven. This is the devil himself trying to abuse you by making you a fool. Somebody saying women they plastic pa 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 uh, uh, plastic surgery. You see here, just to show you an example of Muslim how they try to justify such a stupid thing. Why it is bad? Women practice plastic surgery in the West. In in heaven, they can get. She she is not even the one she is wishing for it. It's you who change it, change her as she wish, which means you can make her ugly too. <laughs> you can make her look like a chimpanzee. As you see, as you wish, it is how, it is you, it's not her. It's not the woman changing herself as she wish, it is you decide how she look like, she is your sex toy. Secondly, if God, he created us, male and female, and if God, he, true God, he will make the man love one woman and they will be happy together. If you go back, you will see Muhammad, he stole a story from the Bible about Adam and Eve. God, he created one Adam and one Eve. Was Adam happy with Eve? Or he needed 70 women and he changed their shape? It's happy to be in love. The second you are saying, I changed their look, it's mean you are unhappy. That means the heaven of Islam is a stupid because you just told me I am not satisfied with her. So I change her. And then tomorrow I will change her. And after five seconds I will change her because I am never happy. Because if you are happy, you will never change. Correct, guys? Number one, you made them sex toys. Number two, they are an object, sexual object. They are not creatures who have feeling. You don't ask them if I want to change you or not. You don't ask her, do you like me to change? No, you change her. And number four, that means you are unsatisfied. That means this is not heaven. Because if you are satisfied, you will not change her. And not only that, you are just saying that the way Allah, he made her, is not good for you. Aren't you Muslim claim that Allah, he made them perfect, so why you want to change them? And then he described how Allah will make them virgin again. He will put his finger there and he will make her virgin. What kind of this code? My friend, stupidity is amazing. Why we have only 886 like? You guys don't appreciate what I do, don't you? You see, one thing is about the Christians. Uh, you have to invite them to even do a click, you know, like a click, give it a like. I, we will delete the video anyway. But I mean, at least show that you care. Even a click, they don't want to, want to do it. <sighs> okay.
Bible teach that Eve was created to keep Adam happy. Show me the verse and everybody will laugh at you. You are a stupid fool like your prophet. I never saw a Muslim he can quote anything in the, in the Bible. Actually, God, he created Eve and Adam, and both he called them Adam, you idiot. And your prophet, just to show you how perverted he is, he claimed that all the sin is coming from Eve, and yet he promised you a lot of Eve in heaven. I mean, if they are bad, why they are there? Your prophet, he says, if not Eve, no woman betray her husband. And the Muslim, they say, well, the Bible says, because of Eve, Adam commits sin. The Quran says, and Muhammad says, that all women are bad because of Eve. All, all Eve are bad. Do you see it? This is Sahih Bukhari. And the funny Muslim, they say, we don't believe in original sin. So what is this? Why women are bad because of Eve was bad? Are you saying that Sin is a transmitting uh, uh, disease or something. What the rest of Eve have to do with the uh, rest of women have to do with Eve? Why, why if no Eve, no woman betray her husband? And are you saying to me that Eve, she betray her husband? This is what you are saying. And if Eve was bad in heaven, why Allah, he promised me a lot of Eve and I would change their shape. This is the most stupid religion ever you can imagine. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith number 3399. Uh, 3, 3, 9, 9. uh, so hold on, hold on, guys. Why do you deny that the Bible says God, God created Adam, uh, Eve, from we don't deny that. Who's denied that? You're, you're stupid, you're a fool. I mean, look, look, he's trying to change the topic. We are talking about changing the size, having sex with them, changing the size of your penis, changing the size of their vagina, changing the size of their boobs. And you are talking about Adam and Eve. What does this have to do with this? The Bible says God created Adam and Eve from one material. This is what it's meant. So nobody is better than any, because Eve she is, she has the same flesh of Adam to make them perfect. Adam is not perfect alone. Eve is not perfect alone, so God created male and female to be perfect. In Islam, the woman is just a sex toy. In Islam, women are evil. Even your prophet, he says, the woman, she come in the image of the devil and she leave in the image of the devil. Why? You know why? Because Muhammad is a filthy man. He just said that his mother is shaitan. What kind of a man, he said that women, they come in the image of the devil and they live in the image of the devil. And as long as they are in the image of the devil, why you are seducing them by the devil? Huh? What do you think? Very shameful teaching. And they try to change the topic. Your Bible says Eve and Adam, Eve created from the rib of, uh, so? And? Your God Allah, he spent 1,000 years to soften the skin of the women he will give you in heaven. How slow Allah is. He never heard of something called DV or Vaseline. I can get you a Home Depot machine, can make concrete soft like the, the, the face of a baby in two, in two minutes. Your God, Allah, he need 1,000 years to soften the skin of a woman. Why? She's a legator. I thought, Allah, if you want something to happen, he say, be is going to be. So now, Allah, he made them wrong. It looked like he, owed, he added some uh, rocks or etc. In the, in, in, the, in the mud. And now, oh, oh, it's not soft. So now I have to soften it. And now we send them to you in heaven. And then, oh, maybe you are not like, going to like what Allah, he made. So we are going to give you opportunity and the chance to use an app and you change the look of those women. And look how this guy is so excited with his hands. He's describing the boobs of the women. This is heaven. This is God. So if you do something here, you might not have it there. 
And yet Allah says, you will have whatever you desire. So some of the... Look how dangerous this thing is. Whatever you desire. Once I asked a Muslim, what if somebody desired to have sex with you? He said, so what? In heaven, there's no limit. It's in YouTube. You can go watch it. I said, what if somebody decide to have sex with, he's a, let's say he's sick, he decide, he said, you can have sex with your sister, you can have sex with your mother, you can have sex with your daughter. Your daughter. In heaven, there is no limit of desire. This is a very sexual, sick religion. No limit in your desire. Because it's religion of desire. Uh, ulama have explained very beautifully that the, the code of desire of that item is just removed. So you won't desire it, subhanallah. So if you, look at brother, if you drink wine in, heaven, in earth, you go to heaven, Allah will send you to heaven, but he will not let you desire wine in heaven as a punishment for you. <laughs> so good to be true, brother. But at the same time, we need to make sure we work towards it. You will have something absolutely perfect. And say, for example, if there is a color or a shape or a size that you would like to see your spouse in, you will suddenly find your spouse with exactly your speck in your mind. Uh, I have a friend, he likes his wife to be, to be in the size of a truck. I asked him why, he said, so she can be working as a bodyguard. And your spouse, if your spouse would like to be a, a specific speck for your spouse, he or she will be, meaning speaking to the, the sisters or the brothers, will be exactly as they would like to be. So one thing, but appearing as two different shapes to two different people. What? Like what? You are one thing, but you are appearing differently to two, two people. So I will be sitting here, and let us say I have a guy next to me. Let us say his name is, uh, I can't say Fifi is a guy, uh, uh, Sister Fifi. And F Fifi, she see the women as an elephant. I see the women as a mule. <laughs> two different shapes, but in the same time, one person? Is that a 3D something? You change the glasses. You want to be something, she wants to be something, she is what she wants to be, and you are what you want to be. If, 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 So she is something, but you see something. Did you hear it? She is something, but you see something else. Let's listen, listen again, listen again. Oh boy. People, you want to be something, she would like to be so one thing but appearing as two different shapes to two different people you want to be something she wants to be something she is what she wants to be and you are what you want to be it it is to you what you would like it and it is to her what she would like i'm getting dizzy now so okay all right uh-huh you know what this is going i was in the airport just yesterday and it's good to be like, look like many, many people, like each one in the, in the airport is seeing me differently. <laughs> but I'm the same person. That's so good. That's so, that's amazing, brother. I mean, have you ever heard of a garbage like this before? Have you? Yeah, shape, uh, shape shifting. I like this. Uh, one of you, he said shape shifting. I never, uh, so, you know, my English is not uh, my first language. Uh, and uh, because you know, as you know, I'm I'm, I'm born in the black, you know, I'm, I'm a black blonde African American from Japan, you know. So uh, English is not my first language, but this is so beautiful. But other sisters, I have to go because I have to convert to Islam, so I can be two things in the same time or three things in the same time. And women, they will, each woman, she will see me as she as she like. So all of them, they will like me. Like there's a woman, she like to see me blonde. I will be blonde for that woman. She like to see me like me 100 foot uh, to a foot tall. She will see me 100 foot tall. The other woman, she like me to be short and black. She will see me short and black, or maybe uh, 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 black and tall. Uh, each woman, she will see me as she was. Brother, that's so beautiful. I'm so, I'm really, I'm being touched. Harry, Harry Potter.
Allah Akbar. So there is no confusion. There is look at this. He just said there's no confusion. How in the world you just said the person will look in different in different form in the same time and you are saying there's no confusion, you idiot. I mean, how we can even recognize this person if every one of us see him differently? And he's saying there's no confusion. Imagine you are going in the airport and the police looking at you. There are 10 of them. One, he said, you see the guy, the tall guy is blonde. He does say, he doesn't know what is blonde. I see a black guy. They are African with curly hair. The other guy says, no, I see an Asian. He is from uh, Singapore. The other one, he says, no, he is not uh, you know, Asian. This guy is from Puerto Rico. And there's no confusion, brother. Unbelievable. Nothing that can happen that is to the dislike of anyone. The word dislike does not exist. Okay, so how come Muslim give me dislike in YouTube, you idiot? So are you saying to me, if I open a channel in YouTube, in, 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 in the heaven of Allah, the Muslim, they will stop giving me dislike? And look how stupid this cult is. As long as you are saying the, 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 the person will change as you wish, it's mean you have dislike. Correct? Otherwise, why I want to change your look unless I dislike how you look? Be honest with me. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this garbage? I will stop here so it's going to make it easier for you to download. We continue maybe later uh, afternoon or tonight. I will try to come back. You know, I'm trying just to cover because I was away for some time and I will be away for a few days too again soon. So I'm trying to do more broadcast so you guys don't say because St. Francis is not coming. Trust me, I love always to be with you, share the truth with you, uh, but there's many things we need to do and it's a uh, necessity. I'm trying to change the shape of the women in my town. All of them. That take a lot of time. You know, because I'm not yet in heaven yet. So I'm going to change the shape of them. And I'm, I'm trying now, for now, I will try to change the shape of my car. It's a small car. Can I change the shape of my car in heaven too? <laughs> oh boy. My friends, my family, my brothers, my sisters, Islam is of the devil. You notice in all what we are talking about, there's no love. You see, if Islam says, in heaven you will have a woman, she love you, you cannot find that. It's just women who they will serve you. You change their look, you change their size, you change their breast, you change their vagina. And each time you sleep with them, Allah will make them virgin, which means it's cheating. It's just a sexual religion. Muhammad is the master of lust. And he was a lusty man. When a human being commits sin, he says, I am a sinner. We ask God for forgiveness. But this is a religion of sin. They make you believe sin is good. They make you go lost in order to believe in such a garbage. Then your lust will control you because you will be not aware of what they are talking about. So, I hope we have a good time together. And tonight, maybe, mostly, we will continue the same topic. But please don't forget to download the video as soon as possible. It might take maybe uh, uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes before it's ready. Take it. Download it because we not we will not we, we don't keep the videos, you know. We make a lot of people angry, and that's why I keep moving my channel from place to place. They hate me, man. They hate me. Uh, why? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just showing them what they are saying there. I did not even make it. Hello. But the second you show them how silly, how stupid it is, they get offended. They are not offended by this idiot. They are offended by me exposing. The teaching of Islam. Can you believe it? You will not find a Muslim flogging this video. It is since 2014. Why? It doesn't offend them. But the second we talk about it, it's offending. They notice that this time is stupid. And he is showing us our stupidity. So they try to take my videos down. So by your help, my friends, you can keep always my videos up and living because Christian friends, sooner or later, he will die. And the Muslim, they will say, Allah killed him. <coughs> so download the videos, share them, hold them even in your private drive in Gmail or wherever you, you know, and or uh, G Drive, whatever you want, or even private account in YouTube so you can save them, nobody flag them, so always you can repost them again. Thank you very much for being here. What you heard today is a priceless. 
showing you the stupidity and the madness of this cult. And if you compare between the heaven of Christ and the heaven of this filthy cult, you cannot. This is an insult to my Lord, actually, to, com to, to, to compare. While Jesus promising us a happiness which have nothing to do with sexuality. He said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels, which means Jesus, he promised you to be free. Angels have no needs. No need to sleep. No need to eat. No need for sex. You are free. So Jesus, he free you from addiction. He free you from sex addiction. He free you from food addiction. He free you from your needs. You are only happy, actually, when one day you will become free from needs. In Islam will make you slave of needs. In, in earth, you are just having sex with one woman, and there you are going to be addicted all eternity just to have sex and sex and sex and changing the shape again and again and again, and you're never satisfied because this is a sexual heaven. With the Christ, you are free. With Muhammad, you are a slave. Which one you choose? If a person, he come to your house and he say, believe in me and I will give you women, isn't it obvious that he is the devil? Isn't it? If a person, he come to you and he says, believe in me and I will give you gold and silver, isn't it obvious that he is the devil? Isn't it Jesus, he said, that you cannot worship to God? Which one of them? The true God and the money. Muhammad, he added another God, which is attached to the money, it is sex. With the Christ, my friend, you are free. With Muhammad, you are a sex addicted maniac. All your brain is about sex. All your desire is about money. He promised you to be 10 times more rich than any king in the world. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this before? What we would do with richness in heaven if everything is for free? Ah, oh, I forgot. In the heaven of Allah, there is a market where you can buy a certain product. Anyone remember? Muhammad, he said, in the heaven, there is a market. There's no buying or selling in this market except pictures of men and women. Can you believe it? And if a man, he like the women or the image of the man, in the image, he jump in it and he have sex with it. How in the world can be, this is, can be from God. Playboy magazine. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. So whenever a man desire an image, he enter it. A man desire an image. What? A man. So the customer always a man, but the images of what? The images are images of men and women. So the man in heaven, he will have sex with men. Read carefully, it's not my words. In paradise, indeed, in paradise, there is. Let us change the font, the color. Oh, give me a second. Okay. So, in, indeed, in paradise, there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling, except, what is the exception? This market is just for images. Oh, images of what? Of men and women. And who is the customer? So whenever a man desire, he enter it. A man, he desire a man. Sex magazine, virtual sex. You go, you see an image of a man and you are a man. You jump in the image of the man and you will be with him in the bed. This is Islam. And this is why today we decide to talk about the prophet of lust and his God, Allah, the lusty God. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Don't forget again, please, to download the video. This is extremely important videos. I hope many of you will take it. You can cut pieces of it, can make part of it. Do as you wish. Just share and tell everybody the truth and translate your languages. I appreciate very much those who translate. You know, my videos are doing a revolution in countries like Malaysia and Indonesia. Hundreds of millions of Indonesian people are watching my videos. People are leaving Islam left and right because they notice and they discover things they never heard of for all the garbage of Muhammad is in Arabic. And I am the Arab guy who is getting it busted. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And Christ is Lord. And Muhammad is a fraud. And he is a pimp. And 
as you see we prove it take care and see you soon try to log in today afternoon maybe nighttime i will go live again and god is willing god bless you take care